<laughs> so I'm a huge fan of tokens and rituals. Uh, why we wrote the the gratitude habit, right? A reminder to how do you start your day? How do you end your day? Uh, my wife and I, at the end of the day, what are your three? Um, I have a, a really fun ritual I've been doing for a couple of years now. And um, I literally carry rocks in my pockets. And I'll share with you why I do that. I've, I found this great little company that creates gratitude stones. And they, they okay. create these wonderful little river rocks. They're all, they're all different sizes and different colors. And, and they simply etched gratitude on it. And so when I see somebody that's doing uh, a, a great job, and, and I always kind of think, I wonder when was the last time somebody thanked them, right? Uh, the crossing guards for the schools that are near us. You know, I'll go out for my morning walks and I'll stop and say, listen, by the way, thank you so much for keeping our kids safe. I, I so appreciate it. I have a small gift for you. It's a little gratitude stone. And, and just a reminder to let you know how much we're grateful for what it is that you do. And and I love that it's a stone because every stone is a little different and it's a little flawed, you know, just like we are. And yet when you toss mm -hmm. a stone into a pond, it causes the water to ripple. And, and that's the power of gratitude. Gratitude ripples. So I said, I hope this brings you good luck. And that every time you see it, you'll be reminded of how much we appreciate the work you do. Well, well, that takes what, like a minute to, to, to say that? You would think that I had given that crossing guard a Fabergé egg, right? <laughs> um, you know, um, I, I go to hockey games all the time down here in Newark. I'm a big New Jersey Devils fan. And the police officers that that do it, and, and you know, it's bad weather and whatever. And I say, you know, can I steal you for just 30 seconds? I want to just give you this little token to tell you. My gosh. And my wife is so funny because we'll go out to dinner and we'll have a really engaged, cute, you know, waiter or waitress. And at the end, I'll say, hey, thanks so much. You really made this meal fun. I have a little token for you. And she always laughs. She goes, I can't believe how people react to it. It's a rock. <laughs> You're giving them a <laughs> rock, you know? And she said, I, yeah, I, I, I'm always amazed. Every time they go, oh, are you kidding? Oh, thank you so much. And then every now and again, it's really interesting. Well, they'll say, I can't believe you gave me this, this stone. I said, really, why? I collect stones. Like when I travel, I'll pick up a stone that I have from Rome or this or that. I've got a stone that says faith. I've got a stone that says joy, you know, and I'll put this stone with my other stone. So it's really interesting how you create that simple little connection. I I, I have given well over a thousand of these stones away. And oh my gosh. That yeah. And, and 99 times out of a hundred, they go, wow, that is so thoughtful. Every now and again, somebody will go, Cool. Thanks. <laughs> it, it, it is the exception. It is the exception. So, um, and, and when I coach executives, you know, we have a wonderful executive coaching program. I make sure I send them a, a gratitude stone and say, listen, start the day and end the day with gratitude and never forget the ripple effect of how you act as a leader. Those simple little thank yous, those simple little words of encouragement, they ripple. Um, and I love the concept of the ripple effect. And what kind of ripples do you want to send? Ripples that say, you're a knucklehead. I can't believe you let me down again. Right? Or the ripple effect that said, look, I, I know we didn't quite get the outcome we wanted on that. What did we learn from that experience? Uh, let's keep hitting it hard. I appreciate the fact that you're not going to give up. Whole, whole, you whole know, different atmosphere. And, and the, cool, the cool thing about that, Chester, is that you actually have it in your pocket. So when you're walking around, you feel it. And so you know that you got to find somebody to give it to. Does that mean, you know, it's, it's almost like a reminder. Um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sort of a big believer on the little things. I, I really do believe that the little things can make a difference in people's lives. Um, the little things from a gratitude perspective, and you've just hit on one that I think is really, really great. 